McDonald's is a unique operation. If you look at land prices today, and you say your, your goal is to have as many cows as possible, is it cheaper in this part of the country to buy more land and raise cows on more land, or is it smarter to have a smaller footprint, feed sweet corn silage or other byproducts, and allow you to expand with less cows per acre? That is the whole vision of this facility. So when you look at this facility, what we want to do is the goal on this is to take all of our ETs, all of our embryo transplants, recipient cows, keep them here. You can see there's an alley that we can run them out. So when we're giving them shots, it's real simple. But instead of having to have these recipient cows out on grass all the time, we said what we would like to do is feed 50% of their nutritional needs in that feed bunk year round, 50% out in the pasture. So every group of cows over here has access to a bunk and has access to grass. So what it allows you to do is to supplement the cost of your land, right, with that sweet corn silage at $12 a ton, right? So you, these are recipient cows, remember? So does their environment count towards the genetics? No, so we're not changing any of the genetic predictions because they aren't the real calves anyway, right? And so that's what this allows us to do. So there's a pen. Right there is a corner. You can see that gate. She has it circled in red. That goes out into four different pastures. So each pen goes to four different pastures that re rotate every seven days for a 28 day rotational period to come back to the same grass. And what we found out, and it was actually a shocker, they will manage the grass consumption as you feed them. So they won't go out and just mow the grass down and then you're, you're all on feed. They will go out, eat a little grass, come back, eat up their feed, go out the next day, eat a little more grass. And if you can imagine from a health standpoint from calves, this allows the calves the best of the world because they have grass all the time, right? But it allows you to have that cheap feeding experience for a big bunch of our cows because we almost have 300 recipient cows on our place. That's one of the products. That's called wet beet pulp, sugar beets. Yep, sugar beets from, from up along uh, the northwest and south of us. Now, going back to the goal of this unit, we were at $12 or so for sweet corn silage. Now what do we have to add in for wet beet pulp? Our break even just got better, right? And the key to all this is don't be thinking that when we do this, we just say we found some feed and therefore we're going to put it out in front of them. The key to making money with these byproducts is that you have to take that feed and balance it extremely well. So they understand that the goal here is now to take this cheap stuff and make it into a super palatable pro product that will get the maximum nutrition out of it. Oh, look inside that mixer. Does that look like feed that's throwaway type feed? Look at it drop into the bunk. That is absolutely balanced ration to get these cattle to gain exactly where we want them to gain. Okay, And what you're seeing coming in here is about uh, 200 recipient heifers that we put embryos in that we'll uh, calve next year for uh, to create bulls and heifers for us. So those are all commercial recipient heifers. From here, you can just see the working facility. That, that allows us to grab these animals conveniently. They come through down here go through a processing area because with recipients, we have to catch them right three times, right, to make everything work.